Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to modify your current mouse uh, to make it basically a silent mouse for no cost other than your time and your patience. And I really mean patience here <laughs> and a steady hand. You can see here the difference between two mouses. So the one on the left is a modified mouse that is quietened. The one on the right is the original. So I'm going to be using a $13 Technet wireless mouse for this video to compare the difference. They're really good mouses, uh, I'd recommend them. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. But I'm going to use this as a reference and also an, a way to instruct you how to do it on your own mouse. It basically comes down to the micro switch that's inside, that's what creates the uh, or generates the clicking sound. So before I get into this, I just want to put out a disclaimer that you should only do this at your own risk. I'm not liable for any damage that you may cause to your own mouse. As long as you follow my instructions though, you'll be fine. I just wanted to put this out there. So first of all, we need these tools. Um, we need a small posi screwdriver, a socket head or a bigger flathead screwdriver uh, just to adjust the height of the micro switch. There'll be more details on this later. We need some tweezers, a razor blade or something pretty thin and strong um, and that's to flip the micro switch so that we can uh, take out the internal components of the micro switch. Again more on this later. So we'll start with taking this Technet mouse apart. So under the battery compartment, we've got a single screw. Remove that. And then there's two more screws in the two corners underneath the label on the bottom. Just peel that back a little bit to take those out. base should be fairly easy to take off. So you can see the PCBs with the scroll wheel. So next we'll disconnect the connector between the two PCBs. We need to pull it using the whole of the ribbon evenly to avoid taking out any of the cables from the connector. Yeah, it's pretty tough to come off, but you'll get it. So now you can see the two micro switches at the front. Uh, they're the ones that are making all the noise. So to open those up, we need to get that razor or the thin object to peel the case off and expose the internals so we can uh, Modify that. You can also see how loud the scroll wheel button is as well. Uh, this can be adjusted as well. But we're just going to focus on pointing those two front buttons. So we'll unscrew the PCB with the scroll wheel and all the main components, including the battery coils. Just one screw for that. Now we'll get the razor and this is where you gotta be really careful. Um, we just wanna flick the little tab here up and out. Um, I'm using the edge of the blade rather than the sharp end and you wanna avoid kind of putting the, the sharp end anywhere near your fingers. I <laughs> um, appreciate this is very a delicate operation but yeah, take some time to uh, flick it out. I wouldn't use a screwdriver um, because that would make it worse. It would make it a lot more difficult to open up. 
but you just want to be able to get it right underneath uh, the tab of the micro switch and lever it up and you'll hear a click and then it'll hinge out. So with the micro switch housing flipped up, we need to retain the, the little white button that comes with it. Uh, it's really small, so keep it safe. We can now see the gold plated spring inside, which uh, that is your button essentially. Um, that is what creates the, or is generating all the sound. And it's the distance traveled for that spring. So we're gonna reduce the travel of that spring, which will slightly affect the mouse functionality in that it will feel lighter to press down. But to be honest, this doesn't feel like a huge difference for me. Um, I actually prefer just the lighter touch because of one, like the main reason being quiet sound, but um, because I click so many times uh, day to day in my work, I like to not have to travel so much, like press down so hard to achieve the operation. Uh, but yeah, you can see this is the spring and this is what it sounds like as it's being pressed down. Um, and it's the travel in between like the L-shaped kind of bracket, which uh, that's what we're gonna push down in order to reduce the travel. So before we look at modifying the micro switch, we need to take out the gold plated uh, spring. Use tweezers to do that. Keep that safe to one side. And now we're gonna modify the micro switch by knocking down the little L-shaped bracket that's on the micro switch. This is something that you're gonna have to do by eye at first and then just test with the spring inside afterwards by pushing down and just see how, how much travel there is after your uh, modification. And you'll obviously hear as well what the difference is. So just be real careful. You just wanna knock it down gently. I'm using a Torx head on my screwdriver just to have a flat surface to knock down on the bracket with. So you can tap the top of the screwdriver just to get a bit of force on it and to then deform the bracket. After you've bent the L-shaped bracket, you need to put the spring back in. Um, there's a specific way it goes in. And so on one side, so on one side you've got the L-shaped bracket which touches the flat plate of the spring and then a wave in the center, a wavy sort of section of the spring which sits into uh, another bracket. And then at the far end, there's one more kind of hooked bracket which holds the um, spring in place. So you need to first place the flat section in the L bracket. So that's number one. Number two, put the wave section into the hook in the center. And then finally, uh, the bottom end section of the spring hook in. I basically hold on to the flat section while I clip that in. You'll see now. Here's a picture of uh, kind of one side compared to the other. You can see the, the bracket on the right is higher and that's the original height or travel that the spring had to go, uh, which made the lo louder noise compared to the one on the left, which is the modified one, which I just did. Um, so it, the L bracket has been lowered. Um, so we just need to do the same on, on the second button as well. Now, if you ever do by accident bend the uh, gold plate switch, um, I have links in the description of some micro switches that you can buy online. Amazon Prime has some on there for about five bucks. You can get a pack of 20 and it will be there in two days. Um, if you're not bothered too much about timing, then you can get uh, ones from eBay. It'll take a little bit longer, but they're only a dollar each if you just buy one off. Uh, then you can replace the spring if you ever break it. So we can put the housing back together for the micro switch um, and it has the little 
button on it as well, the white button. Make sure that's together and in the little slot that comes with the housing. Make sure to align the button to, there's like a small flat section on the spring. Um, tip it upside down so that the button doesn't fall out and then have the PCB upside down as well so that you can offer it up to the micro switch and it just push, pushes in place as a push fit. And now we can, we can hear the difference between the scroll button and our front right button now. It's quite a difference. So we'll do the same to the other button. And once we're finished, we can uh, just compare the two buttons, make sure they're of similar travel and sound, and then we can put it all back together again. While we're inside, we may as well clean it. So I'm just using a microfiber cloth. Um, let's get all the dust out, then we'll put it all back together. Now we can compare the difference between a mouse which has not been modified to one we just modified. It's a lot more quiet of sound and it's pretty similar to the silent mouses that are on the market. Um, and you can do this without any cost on your part. Uh, just a bit of time and patience, but where well, there's a will, there's a way. And yeah, if you guys found this helpful, then give it a thumbs up and yeah, I appreciate it. Um, let me know if this was all right for you guys to do and um, give me a comment. Um, I'll try and uh, respond to you guys. Have a good day and we'll see you later.